Hey everyone, Corinne Henneberry here with the Red Carpet Report. I am on the Sony lot and we are here for a special panel and screening of Showtime's Masters of Sex. Hi, Corinne, Hi, pleasure. Hi, Hi Michelle. Michelle. Pleasure to meet you both and congratulations. How does it feel to be here tonight? Oh, we're oh, excited. Yeah, we love it. We yeah, love we it. love that you guys are here and we thank you. It's it's uh, We're excited to jump into 1966, which is where we've landed. This Bringing it back. Yeah, yes. Yes. So tell me what it was like when during the early development stages. Did you, I mean, I'm sure you always thought of the the future and where your hopes were that it would land. So now being here on a, on a carpet at Sony, like what... What does that do to your to your your mind? Well, we're we're in the we're in the trenches here, so we're the ones who have to actually make this happen. So all I can think about is, oh my gosh, there's so much story to tell, and how do we do it well? How do we do it in an entertaining way, but also very faithful to the real story? So that's that's really what's on our mind, I think. And we're, we're really excited to have jumped to 1966 because it was a big year in the story of Masters and Johnson. They published their seminal work and they become, you know, huge public figures and everything changes for them. So it's a, it's a great time to tell a story about them. Is it an ongoing story? Oh, yes. It's an ongoing story. I mean, we have decades ahead of us. So it's, I mean, uh, Masters and Johnson had a 30 plus year life together yeah. and career. So we have a lot of story to tell. And it is the same characters, and the lovely thing about our show is characters go away, they come back, they weave back in, they go away again. We have a, we've created a village. Speaking of creation, you both being creators, what is it that inspires you or stimulates you when you get into the nitty-gritty of work each day? Do you need your Starbucks? Oh, Sarah, really? <laughs> Yeah, we both need our Starbucks, and we also, but here's the fun, here's the honest to God the fun, is just sitting down with the material, making it happen, talking about these people's lives, trying to understand who were they really, and then, and then as faithfully, yeah, as faithfully representing them and bringing them life as we can, so that's where it's really fun. Do you have a really large say in who plays those characters? Oh, for sure. I mean, it's it's a small group of us, and we, we argue and debate and then wind up incredibly blessed to find Josh Charles getting on a plane to come out here, so we couldn't be happier about that. But we are all in kind of, we're all in accord because I think the characters are drawn so well. I don't write it, so I can say the characters are written so beautifully that you... The, who works and who yeah. doesn't work for each of these parts is pretty clear. It's yeah, clear. yeah. Well, very nice. Have a wonderful evening tonight. Congratulations on your success. You as well. Take care. Bye, ladies. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and leave a comment telling us who your favorite actor is in Masters of Sex.